Although Excel has built into it robust graphic and charting options, you might also have a need to insert a ready-made graphic uh, or a photograph or even perhaps a sound or a movie clip. What we're going to do here is we're going to show you how to locate and insert clip art, then how to position that clip art where you'd like to on the screen, how to resize it, and how to add other options in terms of how that clip art is displayed. Right here at the sheet we're looking at, entitled Sally Mae's Key Lime Pie Sales for 2009, there's a little piece of pie as a clip art, which adds a little bit of interest to that spreadsheet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that clip art and I'm going to delete it off the screen. Now, in order to insert clip art on the ribbon, go over to the Insert menu. Click there and then look for the Illustrations group of icons. And then we're going to click on Clip Art. That opens up the Clip Art panel on the right side of the screen, and there's a Search For field. That's where you type in the name of the item that you'd like to locate an image or a video or a sound for. I'm going to type in the word Pi. Now, where it says Results Should Be, you can specify whether you want clip art, photographs, movies, sounds, or any of the above. If you simply select all media types, when you click on Go, it will bring back any images, photographs, movies, or sounds that pertain to the item that we're looking to search for. So I'm going to click on Go. It's going to bring up options, and here I see examples of pie charts, and I see some pictures of pies, and I can scroll down the list and see what Excel the clip art gallery has brought back for me. Might take a little while for some of these to display themselves as they're being all brought back as search results. I can then look and see which of these items might fit my needs here. And I'm going to go back up towards the top. I saw a little wedge of pie that I thought would work. I'm going to go ahead and bring this one in here. Now, if you click on, when you hover over the icon or the image, the clip art image, you have a little arrow on the right side. And if you click there, you'll have a little option will drop down. And I'm going to go ahead and say insert. All right, that puts a copy of that image onto my spreadsheet. And while I have these visible little, what they call handles, displayed around that object, and I have the four-way, my cursor is a four-way arrow, I can click with my left mouse button and drag to reposition that clip art graphic to where I'd like it to go. Now I also want to resize this and make it smaller. Now there's a trick to resizing and when you want to resize something and make it smaller or larger it's best to grab it from the corner as opposed to from the side because if you grab it from the side it can distort, compress or squish that image. If you resize it from the corner, it will keep the dimensions proportionate. And in order to resize this and make this little wedge of pie smaller, I move my cursor over the bottom right-hand corner and I get the two-way pointing arrow. At that point, I click my left mouse button, hold it in, and drag inward until that pie is the size that I'd like to use. I can then click on it and move it up to where I want it to appear. Now notice, when I click onto that graphic, my ribbon changes and I get this new tab here under picture tools, the format tab, which allows me to format the attributes of the selected picture. I've got all these adjustment options over on the left. I've got different picture styles in the center. I can put a border or additional effects around the image. So we have a lot of options and you can see as you hover over, for example, one of the picture styles, you get different options here. Some might give you a shadow effect, some might give you a picture frame effect. In fact, if you drop it down, you have a whole group of options. Now in this case, when I drop this selection panel down, I lose the graphic. What I might want to do is move the graphic out of the way so I can then proceed to take a look at what my different options might give me if I were to click on them. Okay, if I don't want anything there, I can also go under Picture Effects. And once again, my picture is being obscured by the menu, so I'm going to go ahead and go grab that graphic and drag it over to the left so I can go back to my Picture Effects menu 
and I have different reflection options and as I hover over the reflections I see how it gives me a faint mirror image under glow I've got different glow options and since this is supposed to be a piece of key lime pie let me give it a green glow effect and I'm going to click there and now I'm going to move it over to the right and there I have my piece of pie with a little green shadow or glow effect around the outside I'm going to go ahead and click the X in the upper right hand corner of my clip art panel so it goes away and now I've inserted my clip art into my spreadsheet I always have the ability to move it around to resize it or to click on it and get back to my picture tools and my formatting options to change the look or the attributes of that picture.